Welcome to the DVM 365. Give us five minutes or less and we'll update you with the veterinary news, medicine, and business information you need to know right now. I'm Christy Reimer. In this edition of The Five, we'll report on cases of American pets with the H1N1 pandemic influenza. We'll hear from Dr. Jeff Werber on tackling a tough conversation with clients. And we'll talk to Debbie alabin Gare about how to fix broken relationships with coworkers. First up, the news. H1N1 influenza is in veterinary news again. A cat with H1N1 has died in Oregon. The 10-year-old male was one of four cats in a household and was taken to a Lebanon, Oregon veterinarian after showing signs of labored breathing. Oxygen and medication weren't enough and he died a few days later. While the influenza outbreak has impacted some 22 million people in the United States, only a handful of domestic animals have been confirmed thus far including pigs, ferrets, and two other cats. Why are you more expensive than that other veterinarian? It's a question you dread hearing from clients, but Southern California practitioner, Dr. Jeff Werber, says the question is a good one, and you need to tackle it head on with honesty and good medical explanations. You know, clients really don't understand the cost of something. What they know is value. So it's so important that when someone thinks that you might be too expensive, Discuss it with them. I mean, open communication is the key to resolving any problem. And often you'll find out that they don't understand what goes into a service. For example, I, I always have problems with an, an employee quoting for a service. Oh, a spay is X amount of $100. Well, no, break it down for them. Let them know what they're getting. If somebody wants to compare, they need to compare apples to apples. It's so important for them to know how, what value they're getting for the service that you're providing. And I, actually, they're going to be more impressed with what they're getting once they understand the value. We all want to get along with our coworkers. But when there's a disagreement or personality clash, it can be hard to spend forced time with someone you don't like or who doesn't like you. Veterinary management consultant Debbie alabin Gare thinks you need to own up to your role in an ongoing workplace grudge and learn to move beyond it. Here's how. First of all, you need to own it. Own it meaning own it instead of blaming someone else for the conflict. And so if you can own your role in the conflict, then you need to begin with the desire to overcome that conflict. Um, in order to do that, you need to have a positive attitude um, on the outcome, that we can get this conflict resolved. And then um, notice strengths that the other person brings to the table. Often that's something different than the strengths that you bring to the table. Begin with the end in mind. Uh, have a peaceful, uh, with the outcome being a peaceful, um, effective work relationship. You don't need to be friends with this person, but while at work, we really need to be friendly and work efficiently together. That's all for this edition of The Five. If you enjoyed this broadcast or have suggestions for future shows, please send your thoughts to dvm360 at advancedstar.com. And for the latest news, medicine, and business information, be sure to visit dvm360.com every day. Nice.